Hi Aquarius and welcome to your January reading with me, Elizabeth. I hope you're all doing really well. This is going to be a general reading for Aquarius Sun, Moon and Rising for January 2023. So Happy New Year. I hope that you had a beautiful end to 2022. Let's see what's in the cards for you. As always, never give up your power to a reading or to a reader. Please use your own highest intuition and guidance. Take what resonates and leave the rest. So let's get into your reading. We're going to start with a few messages from Archangel Michael, and then we're going to pull some astrology cards and then get you some tarot. So messages for Aquarius. You've had Saturn in your sign for the last year, right? So lots of changes for Aquarius is what I'm feeling because you've had the planet Saturn moving through your sign uh, for the last year. So let's see what Michael has for you as we kick off a new year. All right, Aquarius. So we're getting increase your knowledge here. Number 15, education brings opportunities. Take a course, pick up a book, or find a mentor to teach you what your soul longs to know. And it's like there's a book that's open for you. There's scrolls that are waiting to be opened, even online. So this is a beautiful energy for you. Um, it's about kind of expanding your awareness, your consciousness, your education, uh, all of that, and maybe even sharing those gifts with the world. You're ready for more. This came out um, in one of the readings that I just did, either for the collective or for Capricorn, number 40. Your career is growing and blossoming. Now is the time to make the big changes you have been contemplating. So more knowledge and that you are ready to blossom in your career, in your relationships, just in your life. So there, this is uh, the start of a, a new growth cycle for you is what I am seeing. And I want to show you at the bottom of the deck is uh, are the scales, right? So the heart and the feather. Um, and this is a nod to the ancient Egyptian kind of mythology that when you cross over, your heart is weighed against a feather. So it's sort of like releasing, releasing disappointments, releasing hurt, releasing regret, just releasing so that your heart is light. And it says, are you choosing to prioritize yourself or another in this situation? Accept divine guidance, pointing you toward your own joy you deserve it. So balancing the scales in your life, that's what Michael um, wants you to do or has been really showing you, especially with Saturn being in the sign of Aquarius. Um, this is where like, you know, things may, uh, a lot of karmic situations being coming to an end, um, uh, the scales of justice coming in to balance your life. So it's, um, it's a big energy for you. So let's get you some astrology cards and see what we have here. And I feel that a lot of you with Saturn being in Aquarius, you've learned a lot of really powerful lessons. And that's why like your um, you've gained, you're gaining a wisdom with Saturn transiting through your sign, even though it may not be your Saturn return, it's still Saturn in the sign of Aquarius, whether your sun, moon or rising. So your knowledge is actually expanding through this. You may be learning some tough lessons and now it's like, you're ready for more. You're ready to blossom and you're ready to make changes. So what changes are you ready to make, Aquarius? Let's see what we have. Ceres with Nurture. So you're getting the asteroid Ceres, which I really love. Um, and these kind of like yellow daisies and um, we see the golden wheat there. So this is like separating um, the wheat from the shaft, the, right? Isn't that the expression? So it's like cutting out the things that are dead, that are no longer providing, that aren't viable, that aren't serving you. And again, it's like nurturing yourself because that's what it's saying here. Are you prioritizing yourself or another? Um, and accept that divine guidance as to what it is that you're going to be nurturing. So I feel for Aquarius, this is about really nurturing your path, nurturing your heart, nurturing your soul. What things um, are going to be doing that for you as we kick off this new year? Where are you feeling like you want to nurture? What are you feeling is important? What's the priority? So I feel a lot of it is prioritizing your self-care 
and those beautiful things. And yes, uh, January is a Capricorn season. And I forgot to mention for those of you Aquarians who are going to be celebrating your birthday in January, happy birthday. So we're seeing Capricorn with Achieve. And this is that um, Saturnian energy because we see Saturn there, right? And really amplifying your power because that's the goat very very strong very powerful uh so this is where there's nothing that you can't do right now to achieve your goals to have more to um to really show up for yourself in your life and allow yourself to make these changes even if it seems like it's been you've been traversing these high mountain peaks and it's been hard or it is hard um this is about getting to work Capricorn rules the 10th house, which is about our career. It's about um, our reputation. It's all of those things. Um, it's like kind of sits up near your ascendant. So uh, some of you may be Aquarius risings or you have Capricorn in your chart here. And this is about powering through, really powering through these things and putting in the work because they say Saturn is a malefic planet, and while that may be accurate, um, Saturn really comes in and rewards us when we put in the work. And part of your work, because this is more of a very feminine energy here, the Cirrus and Capricorn being cardinal earth and masculine, it's the balance between nurturing, self-care, prioritizing yourself, prioritizing your goals, your dreams, um, that book that's open for you and this beautiful blossoming flower of you are ready for more. So beautiful energy, Aquarius. I love it. And at the bottom, we have Taurus uh, with cultivate. So more of this earth energy, you know, nurturing, cultivating, achieving. And the north node of the moon is going to stay with Taurus through the middle of 2023. So we're always trying to sort of follow the direction of the north node, which is about value. Again, more growth, this big land animal of the bull here. Um, so really, really charging forward towards your goals. What's What has worth and value to you? Valuing yourself, getting your priorities straight. So if you've been thrown a little bit off course, no big deal. I think you've learned a lot of powerful lessons. If you feel like you, you're on the right path and you're already doing these things, then your guides and spirit are saying, keep going, keep doing it because there's even more. So that is a beautiful message. So let's get into your tarot. And I'm using the Dream Visions Tarot version number two. Beautiful deck. I hope you enjoy it. So let's see what we have for Aquarius for the month of January 2023. Okay, Aquarius, we have the Four of Cups here. And the lovers, beautiful Aquarius, beautiful. And that is about healthy choices, relationships, partnerships, your inner masculine and feminine, temperance, the lovers and temperance. So Gemini and Sagittarius coming out here. The Hierophant, yeah, wow, that's amazing. Taurus. Ace of Wands, beautiful Aquarius. I think we will get... One more. And the tower. Wow. Wow, Aquarius. These are bigger energies for you. Um, bottom of the deck is the devil. So I feel that this is like, that's that Capricorn energy, right? Of pushing forward, pushing through the fear, um, overcoming the obstacles, breaking the chains of things that have held you back. And moving forward, you're ready for more. You're ready to get unstuck from something. Um, four of cups starting off the reading. So, you know, this is where sometimes we don't take the cup. We're not ready for the cup. We're contemplating. We may even be feeling a bit apathetic, a little low energy. Like we need to really kind of um, take a moment to pause, to contemplate. And I feel like really what you're doing here is like um, asking you know, what is it that you love? Uh, what is worth your time and energy? Where are the healthy choices at for you? Um, and it's things really being in divine timing. So that's something that I'm seeing. There, there are no missed opportunities, okay? Because this can speak to missed opportunities. There are no missed opportunities. You may be really 
taking a moment, uh, Mercury retrograde in the sign of Capricorn, Mars retrograde in Gemini, um, in, and this is happening in the beginning of January, like through the middle of January, where we do have to you know, two of the more personal planets in retrograde, Mercury, which rules our, our you know, our mind um, and our thinking processes and all of that. And then Mars is like that masculine, you know, taking action. Um, there are no missed opportunities, but I feel that you may be doing some contemplation, even meditation here, um, really maybe looking back on the past year, seeing you know, where your cup has been full and where it hasn't been full, but there's a golden chalice there. So when you're ready, you're going to look up and you're going to take that cup. It's almost like having an ace of cups. You may just not be ready to take it. And around relationships and love, I do feel that this is where you are having sort of like a new, a newfound inspiration around these things. Um, like a new spark of passion, a new spark of creativity, being ready for more, a new action that you want to um, really move forward. It's like uh, the rebirth uh, kind of of your fire is something that they're telling me, like your fire will be reborn this month. But in the beginning of the month, it seems sort of quiet. It seems like this is a time where Aquarius is doing some soul work, some soul healing here with temperance. Uh, these are the extremes that live within us. These are relationships even that are, you know, challenging, um, whether it's in work or family or love. Uh, these are relationships that maybe it's like night and day. Um, fire and water, oil and water, uh, but they're they're there to really teach us something about ourselves. They're they're the people and the situations that hold up a mirror uh, to us. And these people or these things, they kind of hold a key to our own shadow. So I see you doing. It's not necessarily shadow work, but it's inner work. It's getting balanced, balancing your head and your heart, balancing your own polarity, your own extreme. There's divine guidance here. There's divine timing here. Um, patience is required. So I'm not seeing this as something that is so quick, right? Because we're, nurturing takes time. Achievement takes time. For this flower to bloom, it takes time. Gaining knowledge and wisdom takes time, right? So it's sort of starting off um, a bit quieter, maybe a bit slower. There's an inner teacher that's emerging uh, within you, Aquarius. And this could actually show up as someone who is teaching you, a mentor, a guide. Um, your highest self here with the Hierophant. This is the wisdom. He's the high priest. And we're really just seeing this nod to duality within your reading, the sun and the moon. Here we're seeing the masculine and the feminine. You know, here we're seeing these two very different elements that when they combine, uh, they form something new. So it's almost like you're working with extremes, you're working with opposites, and that may be showing up in your world, in your relationships this month, um, or you're just working with the inner your inner world, there's a teacher emerging, whether that's somebody that's an actual teacher um, or a mentor or a guide, or it's coming from you because the Hierophant speaks to your spiritual path. So there's something about following a higher path, getting on a higher path, committing to it. The Hierophant talks about commitment. Um, and there's this opportunity um, to go for something new, to start something new, to have that new spark, that new inspiration, that new creative passion. It's, uh, this is sort of, you know, it's the masculine principle that's being turned on here. And with the tower, this is sort of where I'm, I'm seeing like, it's sudden. So it kind of starts off a bit slower. It's quieter. You're contemplating. You're sort of working with opposite energies. You may even be feeling like, I don't know, it, like what was it all for? What happened last year? I don't even know. Um, where are my relationships at? Where is my spiritual path at? Where is my career at? Um, it's just time for you to nurture yourself. Um, and there's going to be something sort of sudden that happens. It's a sudden revelation. It's where, um, 
the energy suddenly comes in. It's a, it's a shakeup. Uh, and in your case, I feel like it's very positive here because it's coming out with like understanding that you're ready for more. So for those of you who are single, maybe there was a relationship that just didn't work out. Um, maybe you were too different, but you're seeing where through this process, you've really learned a lot. You've grown a lot. Um, it showed you a lot. It helped you a lot. And now you have this like a uh, new teacher that's emerged. Some of you, there may be someone that you're dealing with and it's a relationship. There's there, this is a soulmate. This is a soul connection. You have uh, a deep soul bond here. It's like even a twin flame kind of energy here. Um, it's both physical and it's spiritual. Temperance is alchemical marriage, you know, between two souls that become one. The lovers is more in of the fit in the physical plane, right? Um, a man and a woman, and it's not gender specific. It's just energy. So it's physical and it's spiritual. And what I'm seeing for some of you is if you think that this love was lost, that it's gone, that the love was lost, I see it may come back, especially with the Mercury retrograde. Um, there may be more, you're ready for more. You're ready for the higher commitment. And it's even shocking. So this person may come back to you um, wanting a new start, wanting a commitment, and it's shocking. Um, and it may even feel kind of disruptive because I'm sensing that the relationship required a lot of, uh, it was very extreme. It had high highs and very low lows. And, um, with that devil card being underneath and there's the 10 of cups and there's the queen of cups and there's the eight of cups. So yeah, there may have been, you know, a fear of commitment or something toxic in the relationship, but it really was love. 10 of cups, queen of cups, eight of cups, kind of back and forth, walking away, maybe going back. It could have been that type of energy is what I'm seeing. Page of cups, there's sort of can we start over? Can we have a conversation? So for some of you Aquarians, there may be an opportunity, um, you know, to this person may come back and may, you know, shock you that they want to give this another chance that they want. They don't just want to give it a chance. They may actually really want commitment here. And this is where you're being asked to make a decision. So it's going to resonate differently for each of you. If you're single and you're not interested in the X, because many people aren't, I feel like you are going to have some shocking revelations in the month of January, especially as we get later into the month. Um, we're going to clarify the cards. So let's get into that. I'm going to use some Oracle and then we're going to pull uh, clarifiers for the tarot. And if you hear shuffling around, there is a puppy here. Well, he's almost two years old. Actually, he is an Aquarius, believe it or not. So he's going to be celebrating his birthday in February. He'll be two years old. And he must know that this is the Aquarius reading because he was sleeping so quietly before. So let's see what we have for you, Aquarius. We got a jumper. and Let's get you one more. Okay, so what jumped out was Azurite and Orchid. Look at that, super magical. Orchids remind me of, um, they're like the sort of alien flowers, like they're extraterrestrial flowers, in my opinion. And you are kind of the ETs of the Zodiac. And it says the Lyran Stargate. So some of you could resonate with um, Lyrans or Lyra, that constellation, which are the cat people, and Leo is your opposite sign. It says personal power, healing entanglements, and throat opening. So for those of you where, you know, there's just relationships have been rocky for you or changing, um, it doesn't matter if they're romantic or family or career, or it's like the relationship with yourself, you are doing a lot of healing. A lot of it's happening in this very mystical kind of magical star seed kind of way. Aquarians, I, in my opinion, you are the star seeds of the Zodiac. Uh, and this is connected to the Lyrans or the Lyrans and the orchids being like so, so magical. So this is a really magical start to the year for you. 
And here we're getting that kind of aqua energy, right? With the pearl and the dolphins, very Lemurian. And there's the rainbow of the blessing. So it says, let go. So around your entanglements, many of you, you do need to let go. You see these three cups that she's holding? She can drop them, she can turn around and she can take that golden chalice and she can move towards healthy relationships, divine partnership, the relationship that you have with yourself, healing that, this beautiful angel of temperance that shows you everything is in divine timing, you know, just to walk that middle path. You don't have to be in one extreme or the other. Your inner teacher emerging here, committing to your path of whatever that looks like for you. You are ready for more, okay, in your career, in your love life, in your friendships, and having that new creative inspiration, that new spark, right? Your inner fire being turned on, and it's like, Anything that isn't serving you, anything that's been a falsity, um, just being illuminated, uh, very Uranian. I know people say that this is a card of Pluto, but for me, the tower is very Uranian because it's where lightning strikes, right? If this tower isn't built on a solid foundation, it's going to fall. And if it is built on a solid foundation, then it's just going to activate the whole space. And I feel like you are the tower, like you are actually the tower and you're being lit up. So that's something that I'm seeing. So it's about letting go, being in flow. Aquarius, you're an air sign, but you're the water bearer here. So it's a surrender, release, release patterns and triggers and Pleiades. So this is not really a star seed deck. It's the earth alchemy oracle. It has, you know, earth elements. It has crystals. Um, you know, it has um, the crystals and here we have Numite and Black Dahlia. It's got flowers. It's got herbs. You are getting the two cards of star seeds. So the Pleiadians and the Lyrans, okay? You are not from here, Aquarius. I'm just going to say it. You know, you're here on mission. Um, and that's why your knowledge is so important. And I feel that it's about not letting anybody hold you back from your path. If you've been in situations where these people or these situations just aren't aligned with your true path, with um, this higher level energy that you are coded with, that you that's in your soul blueprint, then let it go. Heal those entanglements. Increase your knowledge. You're ready for more. Nurture your path. And that's so important as you start off this new year. Um, if things haven't worked out, or if, even if you're feeling a bit low energy or whatever it is, you're holding on to these other three cups, let them go, do the healing, do the inner work, because there's this pearl that's there for you. And, you know, the pearl speaks of wisdom and beauty, uh, and the dolphins are communicating with you. It's, it's even Lemurian, right? Pleiadians and the Lemurians are connected and the Lyrans. Um, so you may be even looking extra beautiful this month. Nurture yourself. Um, you're blossoming like a flower. You're opening like the shell to reveal the pearl within you. It's a very powerful message, um, but there's something very unique about your beauty, about your looks. You're very, very unique. You're very different. Um, and so it's really about allowing that to come forth. If you've been, whatever it is, whatever relationships have been challenging, testing you, um, all of that, this is where you are, you are transmuting that energy. You're alchemizing it, like good and bad, light and shadow, you know, the opposites, that dualistic nature of this 3D plane. And even into the 4D, you're alchemizing it um, because you're coming into more of a 5D energy. 5D and above, 5D, 60, 70. Um, you have powerful guides with you. So if anything shocking does happen this month, please know that it is for the highest good. We're going to put the Azurite and the Orchid there in the center. And let's clarify the tarot for you um, because these are big energies. There are big archetypes that you're working with right now. And, um, and this tower, because we saw the devil at the bottom, right? So what happens is the tower comes in to free you from the devil. So there's a, a sense of freedom. And that's where when this happens, right, it's something positive though, but it's still, you know, maybe shocking or sudden. It's more sudden. Um, that's when you're going to bloom. 
and you're going to have like these aha moments, these revelations. I feel there's information coming to you, whether it's from a person specifically, <coughs> a message that comes in with that ace of wands, some type of message, a messenger, or it's just very internal for you. You know, so take that time. Um, meditation is going to be really helpful for Aquarius this month. Whatever your form of meditation is, you know, it's different for everybody. Um, whatever puts you into that place where you start quieting the mind, emptying the mind, you know, so that you can hear, that you can um, receive. It's really about being open to receive. You have knowledge. It, it's just streaming in. And it's daytime. It's nighttime. It doesn't matter. It's just there for you for you. Excuse me. So let's pull you some more tarot. It's it's a really beautiful spread for you, Aquarius. It really is. I hope it's resonating. And uh, take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, so let's clarify these for Aqua for January 2023. I feel like you're ready for more positive relationships. I feel like you're ready for a career path um, that honors and respects you. It doesn't mean you're leaving your job. It may mean that you're stepping up inside of your existing role. Uh, you're really nurturing the things that are important to you because we did see that Taurian energy with like cultivate. So stepping up and stepping out, initiating, taking the lead in your own life in a big, big way. And there may be a really great teacher or mentor or ally uh, that is around you. And you may even know who this person is with the Hierophant there. Okay. So, yes, Aquarius, we're getting the magician here with that Four of Cups. So this is really about taking charge here. Um, you know, because he has the Ace of Cups. And there's that, there's that golden chalice there. So this is really... Your thoughts create your reality, right? Abracadabra, as I speak, so it is. So this is um, having that really positive, positive mindset, knowing that you have all of the resources that you need to achieve a goal. I want to show you the bottom of the deck here is the Ace of Swords, okay? So that's beautiful. This is the truth. This is the truth of who you are. This is being on your path. It's clarity and it's victory. Um, look at that. The Wheel of Fortune with the lovers. Yeah. So it's like regarding relationships, regarding choices, um, the head and the heart, you know, all of that. Um, things are changing. Things aren't the same anymore. You're different. Um, the way that you want to show up inside of your life is different. It's, it's changed. Um, the seasons of your life have changed. Um, there's a cycle that you're completing. Um, it's, a, it's a cycle that you're completing. This is Jupiter. So there's an expansion of growth that's happening in your life. I feel you've, um, you've worked through a lot of karma, you know, for lack of a better word. Uh, but this is the, the energy shifting. It's moving forward. With temperance, we're getting the Knight of Wands. Okay, so I love that. And this is very Aquarian, even though it's Sagittarius, because Aquarius, you are someone who's up for the adventure. You know, you do want the adventure, the passion, um, fast moving energy, you know, all of that. And with this Ace of Wands here, it's like there is this return to your spark, your passion, um, your creativity, your confidence, you know, all of that. And uh, with temperance here, this may be, I don't know, maybe you've been suppressing some of your fire and this is, maybe it's been very watery for you. It's been very emotional. You've been working with, and that's good because you've been emoting. It means that you've been allowing the emotions, allowing the energy to flow, not repressing it, not stifling it. Um, so for many of you, it is this return to your fire because we're getting two cards of Sagittarius here, Jupiter and Sag, and we're also seeing Gemini here. So around your beliefs, you know, your beliefs have shifted. Um, there's something very positive about the way in which you're capable of thinking now. And I, I do feel like a lot of your beliefs have been challenged and they've changed and you've really done a lot of the inner work. Some of you could really be uh, looking at traveling um, because there's a lot of travel here, kind of manifesting some trips. 
uh, really working on that, some travel in your immediate future, even for the year ahead. Uh, there's good luck around what it is that you're trying to create as well. There's definitely good luck. So, you know, your personal power with that Azure, um, and I should have mentioned too with this Azure, it's like, this is very, very third eye here. So this is your, your intuition, your dreams, your visions. This is also knowledge that it's like you just know. So it's like your clear cognizance and your clairvoyance. So I feel like uh, a lot of your clairs coming on with this Lyran energy and the Pleiadian energy, your psychic gifts um, and abilities, your clairs, your clairvoyance, your clairaudience, even clairsentience. So there's something very positive around things that you're looking to create. So I'm sensing it's sort of like um, to to unpause yourself, okay? To unpause yourself and to get going. And you, you're, you've done the work. And again, this is tarot timing. So if that resonates, great. But there, there's st I can't wait to see what comes out with the tower here. Okay, Queen of Cups with the Hierophant there. So this is Cancer Energy. So there's another person here. With the Ace of Wands, we get the Nine of Wands. And with the Tower, we get the Six of Wands. Interesting. I, I'm, I'm seeing like there's something about you maybe playing small for a while. Um, and, and this isn't like a negative thing. I'm going to turn the light on there. Okay, beautiful. Um, so something about not playing small anymore. Um, something about allowing yourself to be seen, you know, because um, the nine of wands is like our wounding. You know, it's where we're like defensive, we're protecting. I'm sensing something about you protecting your heart, protecting your emotions, being hurt by something, um, but really doing a lot of soul work on the heart, on your heart chakra, um, and that there's a new wisdom that you have from within how you feel, your emotional realm, your emotional body. There's been healing around that. And this Ace of Wands that's available to you, it's going to break down the wall. <clears throat> it's there to break down your own walls of the walls that you put up to protect yourself from something, someone, from being hurt again, from having the same situations over and over again. Um, and the Six of Wands is where you show up and you shine and you're recognized for your talents, for your warmth, for your courage, for your gifts, for whatever it is. It's where you're seen. Um, you're ready for more. Career growing and blossoming, it really goes along with that Six of Wands. So many of you are gonna be receiving high accolades, achievements, right? The Capricorn energy. Um, so, there's something about nurturing your own skills, nurturing your knowledge, nurturing your wisdom, your even, you know, your third eye abilities, all the clairs I was talking about, and that that's where you gain the recognition from. You have a new creative solution, a new creative idea. You're allowing yourself to shine. You're breaking down the walls of feeling like you need to protect yourself from something because the cancer energy it's the mother, right? It's the nurturing energy. It's where we take time to nurture ourselves, to care for ourselves, to keep ourselves safe. It's a very private energy. The cancer energy is privacy. And this is maybe the wall that you built around yourself, um, even for fear of, you know, again, of not being seen, of being ridiculed, of not getting the promotion of, being abandoned in a relationship, being lied to, whatever it is, um, not being seen for your gifts. So Aquarius, this is where all of that's shifting for you. Um, Six of Wands being your last card there with the tower. Some of you could have, it's like with the Wheel of Fortune and the Magician, it's like you're taking the inspired action. Um, this is the right time to do it and you're going for it, right? Knight of Wands, like with a lot of courage and um, and you're just doing it. It may even be a risk, like you're taking a gamble, you're rolling the dice, you're letting the walls come down and man, are you shining. And it's almost like it surprises other people. Um, that's, that's a message that I'm getting. It may even shock other people, like 
I didn't even know that Aquarius could do that. Oh my God, like had no idea that Aquarius was capable of that even. So this may be shocking the world. It's like, um, it's bringing down the house. It's that energy of like, did you ever like see a band or something play and it's like they blew the roof off of the house. It's something like that. So do not underestimate yourself this month. Um, you haven't missed out on any opportunity. It's all here for you. And it's the opportunity comes from the fire, right? The passion, the drive, the confidence, your solar plexus. Um, but the magician is also carrying all of the aces. So it's like, just have that confidence. Use your skills, really utilizing your skills. Um, so, all right, Aquarius, what an exciting reading. So let's get you a few more Oracle cards and I wanna check the bottom of the deck. Obsidian and Helleborn Shadow Mirror. So for any of you, um, some of you could be scrying. That's the black mirror, um, the shadow mirror and Obsidian is that protection. So know that you're already protected. You have a psychic vision. If any of you are psychically gifted, your readers, or healers, you may want to look into scrying through the shadow mirror, the black mirrors that are usually obsidian. And it says deep healing and understanding. And yes, you're a seer. I told you I was feeling the clairs. So you are um, a seer and they really want you to know that. So, all right, Aquarius, let's get you some messages from the Starlight Frequencies Oracle. My beautiful starseed Aquarians. Amazing that the Pleiadians and the Lyrans are just coming in for you. Okay, so let's see what else we have for Aquarius. Okay, they, they went flying. Some of you really could be getting on an airplane or taking a long trip. Um, and as I change the lighting, this kind of changed too. So, okay, um, we're getting one of my favorite cards with the Eternal Stone. Uh, and there is that nod to Egypt here. So what you grieve is not lost, okay? Re they really want you to know that everything has and will be returned to you in another form. So that's a message about the, that four of cups, okay? The eternal stone, the merging of the masculine and the feminine, eternal life with the Ankh. If any of you have lost a loved one, I'm sending you my deepest love and condolences but it's even just old relationships or jobs or you've even just lost a feeling you know it's it's returning to you okay and look at that with the truth seeker strengthening your intuitive senses strengthen your intuitive senses i'm telling you and lift the veil from your mind's eye for a clear connection to source this really is all about your clairs and uh, not giving up, not quitting. You have that Capricornian energy with you through the whole month of January, and that's the strength to do this. It's about strength, conviction, doing the work, putting in the work, not taking no for an answer, charging forward, initiating all of that. You may be shocking people. That I think that that has a lot to do with that tower. You may really be shocking people um, this month. And I say go for it, like Aquarius, okay? So let's see, where do I wanna go from here? Um, I wanted to get you some fortune cards and then I'm gonna pull you a few love messages, okay? So let's use the coffee cup oracle and look at your fortune for January since it's a new year. Oh, okay. So you got coins, luck and money beautiful Aquarius. It's going to be a lucky month and I feel like a start to a very lucky year. And here's a man holding a key. So you can either lock the door or you can unlock the door. The choice is up to you. Do you want to lock the door? Do you want to unlock the door? Do you want to lock one door? I feel like you're opening up your door. I feel like you are inviting in prosperity, opportunity, um, adventure, action, uh, all of it. You're you're opening up the door to your perception, your third eye, whatever that looks like for you, your creativity, and it's going to bring you money. It's going to bring you good luck. You you're really really being blessed here. House relocation and home. So the key to a new house. You're going to have the money to buy it or rent it. get you a few more. Ooh, you get the witch. I'm telling you, a, a lot of this is, um, 
this magical energy, this star seed magic energy, um, where you have clairvoyance, you have clairaudience. Um, some of you may really be scrying. Now, for some of you, maybe this is what you've been um, concerned about. Like, am I cursed? Has someone put a curse on me? Do not let those things have power over you, really and truly. Um, and you've sort of put up protection, and that's fine, you know, but not at the expense of your dreams, not at the expense of you having more, not at the expense of you uh, cultivating your own dreams and the life that you really want. So I think that's a message for some of you because you have all of this good luck, this um, this key to unlock any door, especially with the magician. If you're looking for a relocation, new home, it's there for you. And just, um, you know, uh, releasing any fear and defensiveness to the best of your ability. You know, it's going to resonate differently for each of you. But many of you, like you have uh, just this magical, magical energy with uh, with the Lyran Stargate that's open and the energy of the dolphins and the Pleiadians, okay? And you, so that means that you are very sensitive. You know, you're definitely a highly sensitive person, an empath, all of that, because yes, we're getting, we're getting the eye there. So for some of you, you may absolutely feel like you do need the protection. You may feel like you have an evil eye on you, but look what, what came out with that, with the bear. So you have very strong animal totems with you. You've got the bear there for strength, for resourcefulness, for protection, um, especially with the mountain goat, you know, the Capricorn goat and this bear here, you are protected from these forces, okay? So just know that this bear is is there as a protector. And it's also speaking to like, you know, with the bears, they go into hibernation and then in the springtime, they come out of their bear cave and they're ready, you know, to re-enter the world. And that's what I feel like you're doing, uh, Aquarius. And what ended at the bottom um, was the snake and the gate. So maybe some of you are moving away from a toxic situation in work, in partnership, um, a living situation even, okay? And, uh, and that's what this is speaking to because there's, there's an open gate. So you can leave or you can come in, you choose. Um, so I, yeah, I feel like there's some changes for Aquarius in a big, big way. And they're positive. They're leading to really, really good things for you. So let's put these here and I, I do want to get you a few love messages and these um, aren't all about romantic love some of them are about self-love so let's see what the guides have for you my beautiful aquas for January of 2023 what do you have for Aquarius Focus on love, look for the good in everyone. So that's a big message for you, Aquarius, is to focus on love. There's a dragon there, so you even have the dragons with you and the dragons are highly protective. You know, when you have dragon energy with you, they're there to protect you. Um, they get into places where the angels just can't go, you know? So um, if there is sort of any evil eye or someone that you really, really, really challenging people or energies you've been dealing with, you can still focus on the love because you are protected. And oftentimes, you know, it's that energy of feeling like it's that nine of wands where you're just like pushing and pushing and pushing back, you know, um, the, the difficulty, the, the fighting or the, um, you know, the, the opposites, it's like different beliefs. It's people who may have very extreme views or feelings about something. And it is so not aligned with you. And this is what is being, it's shattered realities for some of these people. They're just, they're being released from your life. The more you shine, the more you stay in your power, the more you speak the truth, the more you seek the truth, the more you say your affirmations of I am ready for more, like the more you increase your knowledge, uh, the less power these things have over you and they cannot withstand um, all of this positive energy. 
so that you are. So let's get you one more to close relationship patterns. Capricorn got this too. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. Yes, it does. And I feel like this is having Saturn move through Aquarius for the last year. Um, it has really opened you up to like the realness of who you are, um, what you want, what you desire, where you're doing your own inner work, where you're balancing your own extremes, where you are working on yourself, where you're leveling up, where you're healing, where you are becoming more aligned, you know, with a, with a life that feels more um, spiritual, more creative, more joyful. So that's a, a beautiful message for you. So my dear Aquarians, I love you so much. And I hope that you resonated with this reading. I hope it was helpful. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Sorry about the noise. Um, and those are the dogs. And actually there's two of them and they're both Aquarians, which is so funny. So they've been kind of active during your reading. Um, so I love you so much. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Have a beautiful, beautiful month of January. I will talk to you all soon. If there's anything I can do for you, please do reach out. All of my information is in the description box below. Take care. Namaste.